I'm very excited to show you this recipe. I <laughs> Sorry, it's on point. On point. Yeah, this is this is a Hang on, another dude. stock. We're not okay. having that. Okay. But close. Very close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are gonna make some pigs pig feet. Pigs feet? Pig feet. Pig's feet. Okay? If you don't have a like um Sorry if you're dizzy, I'll stop that. Mine block like if you don't Mine any of those, those will be very delicious and full of, you know, collagen stuff. Let me say this, okay? I had a mine block, but they are really good. So I know they're pig feed. But they're really, just give it a chance. It's just okay? like a people having like a protein powder, right? What are those? But, but you don't mind. You, you know, know why? You get Because they it. don't look like feed. <laughs> Okay, okay, that, that, there is a reason, but anyway, as long as... Just get over it and try okay. them, okay? Yes, I, trust they're me worth that it. So, you don't get a meat texture, you don't get meat texture like that from any other cut of meat that I've had. So if you're into that, it's definitely worth it. If, you're, if your mind is blocked, I get it. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, there's anything wrong with you, that's for sure. It's anyways, a pig's foot, for crying out loud. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> they are very delicious if you cook that properly anyway uh and first, she does I'm yes gonna... well i'm gonna do a stock uh, like a, like a, do a broth stock kind of so i get to the juice i can put in noodles and put all kinds of stuff with it and very delicious so you're gonna boil them first yes then i'm gonna once they're properly cooked i'm gonna make a dipping sauce and that will be delicious with mm. this okay. and those meat Wait, and skin will thing. fall off the uh, bones and just melt in your mouth. Okay, mm. it's really delicious. I'm uh, getting hungry now. So I soak these uh, feet uh, overnight for getting rid of uh, all those blood water, and uh, you know, the hard part is know how to cook them so they don't actually taste like stinky feet or piggy smell. Anyway, all the ingredients you need is pig feet. Uh, green onion, ginger to get rid of that pig feet and the cooking wine. You don't have that. You use any not f overly like a flavor. Any food. gentle alcohol. Yeah, right? just a alcohol flavor. No other sweets or other right. stuff. Uh, uh, this is soya bean. Soak that overnight. Soak that for a while till it's activated. Now they're going to have more vitamin C in it. That's why the Chinese sailors can go across and not suffer. And uh, this is for later use. This is for blanching. This is for later use. A little star anise. Huh? Are those star anise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah star anise, yeah, yeah. ginger, and uh, green onion. Oh, and peanut. Mm. Okay. This is for first blanch. Then these ones are these ones. The outer ones. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I put that in this way. It's all good. Are for the stock. Okay. I'm gonna get blanching. Okay, let the white balance. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Anyway, put that on high. Put in the water. Most important thing when you blanch any meat, you want a cold water. Don't use boiling water so that the blood in the meat can come out. Slowly come out as the temperature rises. I'm out of water for now. Yeah, you're pretty good actually. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, good enough. Cold water, that's the key. I Cold messed that up once. Is... Otherwise you sear everything in. That's right. And I put in the cooking alcohol. I use this. You can use anything. Alcohol, any alcohol. Absolutely. Yeah, even a light white wine should do if that's Absolutely. what you got. Yeah. I you just don't want much. something really bold. Like a, you don't want like a sherry or a or a liqueur. Yeah, like something super sweet. Okay, now we just, uh, I, I leave the lid off so I can bring them, get rid of the, the, the piggy smell as they slowly come out and let it suck, the, let the van suck the smell. Now this is fully boiled, I'm just gonna turn it off. Okay, put a bunch of those. So I guess you blanch them, huh? Yeah, I blanch Great it, work. and I put that in, and um, yeah, ready to put in. This is gonna end up a little bit more of the alcohol. Yeah. 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 That's it for that bottle. Okay. Really looking forward to this. Also, uh, so I'm gonna use. 
Ooh. Ooh, high end. <laughs> Do we have a video about Wakefield spring water? Uh, sure. I don't know. If we do, yeah. there's going to be a thing you can click on to check it out. We didn't put enough water. water. You don't want to add a lot of water. <laughs> look at that. Look at how she's a pro of the properly filled the, pot. Yeah, the limit of the pot. Okay. So once we bring that to a boil, uh, turn the heat down to simmer for at least two hours. Ideally, three hours. Don't be cheap. That's right. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Very exciting. This has been stewed for like two hours, more than two hours. Now I'm gonna add some stuff in it. Uh, this is some Chinese herbs. It's just for us, not for. It's not part of the recipe? It. Yeah, it's not a part of the recipe. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. It's, it sounds so secretive, right? It's medicine, okay? You don't need it. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna put in the uh, soil, soya beans. Part of the recipe, you need it. Yes. Okay, TLDR, this is good for you and good for your skin. Yes, that exists a lot uh, in uh, soya bean and uh, mostly peanut and all other nut. That's why we're putting this in. I like the red And they're part. tasty as heck. Also, so putting them only in the stew, really good. And if you don't, you know, once the so soybeans got s soaked for a bit and start to have that sprouting process, it generates a huge amount of uh, vitamin C. But if you don't like those things, you just have some salad and your goal. And be sure to have that in the same meal because those elements doesn't wait. Once it passes a certain time. Uh, you don't eat that, say, tomorrow we'll, well, I eat a lot of vitamin C. It doesn't work like that. They right. don't wait. They gotta be together. Yeah, you pass them out quickly. That looks so good. And that's another hour of... We need another hour of uh, stew, and that will be done. And you don't really smell like a... It doesn't think... It's... The, just the way you smell that, it wouldn't remind you of stinky feet, I think. I Not think, at all. I think no. it's just a really delicious smell. And no, it is, it is. Because of all the pre prep work we did. Getting it doesn't all of stink those. at all. It doesn't have the meat stink. Right? Or... We did the blanch and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you in an hour. Uh, why I... am I showing them the oil? Oil doesn't matter. I just want to say before I show you the dipping sauce, so I'm going to put the oil on the stove to heat it up. I'm going to show you how that works. Yep. That's how it works. You. And heat it up. We want the oil very hot. Oh boy, you're gonna love the ending. I know it already. Look at this array of ingredients, folks. This is called delicious, yes. discreet deliciousness. Okay, we're gonna combine it and make it. Yes, any oil you use is fine. Um, so I already minced the stuff here. In here, we have pixian dober jiao. Okay, here. A bean paste. It's a bean paste, a sliced spicy bean paste, garlic ginger minced and uh, oyster sauce so the amount of like how much ginger how much garlic it really depends if like I don't like too much ginger so I put less I like garlic when it's a sizzle it's really aromatic so I put more uh, is hot and just salty so I don't want it to, to be overly spicy so I put a little bit less so really adjust that according cool. to what you like and what was the top one again oyster Oyster sauce, mm. yeah, it's a really good one. And we need soy sauce, vinegar, sesame oil. I also have this Nam Sichuan pepper oil. Really good. Yeah, if you don't have that, you can just use the Sichuan pepper powder and just put in the oil and stuff. You can make that at home, super simple. And. Uh, <laughs> Chipotle chili because it's not very spicy and it gives something. You, if you like spicy food, you can change that to just a hot pepper powder mm. and a little bit of chicken powder, not too much, just for a little taste and the sugar. Very important. I think they could use smoked paprika too for the yeah, chipotle, the right? like whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Well, I got a troubles and they're the same. They taste similar. Yeah, no, they're really similar, but just a, I think this one might be a little more obscure, whereas smoked paprika is a little bit less. Smoked obscure. paprika is really good. Yeah. And uh, uh, ratio is uh, uh, customized. <laughs> witness, witness the ratio. Mm, I'm waiting a little bit till the oil is fully hot. Mm. Okay. And yes, Korean. And ideally, if you have a green onion, put a little green onion. But uh, I by accident to use it all up yesterday. <laughs> My head just looked over because I'm like, we have a ton of that. I look over. Oh, and no, we don't. <laughs> we got just some roots waiting to sprout. We have some more in four or five days. Well, if you use olive oil, that will. That'll smoke smoke like really quick yeah. because that's just the oil. You, if you have lard, that's ideal. Mm. Uh, if not, to try some high a higher heat oil. Yeah, yeah, like a cooking oil kind of thing. Avocado oil. Pretty good. Not mm -hmm. much uh, flavor and uh, neutral flavor. Not much. Yeah. Is it's it? getting really close now. Okay. Starting to shimmer. Okay. Shimmer. Oh. Can I put that under the fan? Put on the fan. Wish me luck if this is a full I want this. Oh, hang on, let me move. I hope I didn't mislead you. Wait, let me just redo this. Good. Okay. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Nice. Okay. Isn't that awesome? This is important. They give the I love that stuff. Everything will have that aroma. You can smell it. Now, I'm gonna add the ingredients. Salt it first. So you like it? I like that a little bit sweet and uh, tart. So I put a little bit more sugar. Just the brightness of it. This, just a little bit. This is your official amounts, guys, so pay close attention, okay? And you may have to hit rewind. Okay, two shakes, okay? Just a little bit. And actually, if you've watched some of these videos before, you know the actual reason we do these is so when she's away, I can survive. So I'll be rewatching these over and over to see the amounts too. Sesame oil, very delicious. Vinegar. Ew. That much generous. A okay, generous amount and even get some on the counter. And choose a good soy sauce. This is good soy sauce. Okay. Pretty good. Like those uh, premium Eating ones. stuff. Yeah. The reason I don't have specific ratio is because a lot of generous ingredients amount. they are not standard. Different brands they have different right. mix and stuff. Sometimes really you use my uh, ingredients, it will end up too sweet or something. What is that? Right. That's a great point, and it does also encourage the most important way to figure out if the sauce is right. You just taste is it. Just taste, 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 right. right? If you're cooking something, oh, that's what you taught me. I forgot. You gotta taste that. This is important, okay? Coriander, if you don't like it, don't put it. But you better like it. I love coriander. It tastes so good. Okay. Oh, smells amazing. Mmm. Oops, the camera angle got bad because I leaned in for a little whiff. Mm. Mm. Any adjustment required? Mm. I have a lot of <laughs> chicken, and uh, not chicken feet, pork feet, so I'm gonna, I want the volume up a little bit. So you're gonna soy, oh, you're gonna just put a bit of everything. Yeah. And I mm. like that to be a little bit more When tart. you reach for the soy, I was like, that's a, uh, it's pretty salty already. Like it's nice. You don't want more, but if you're and putting I everything, good. Want it to be. This one is gold. I love the uh, Sichuan peppercorn oil. This is just for volume up. Basically, repeat. Repeat what I did, except this. I don't like it too much chicken powder. Just a little mm. bit is good. Sugar. I like it a little bit sweet. Stir, stir, stir. And that hot oil gives that the temperature really helps all the ingredients mix up, mix mm. together like the paste together. Okay, mustard. Mm. 
really good. Okay. Yeah, I can taste the uh, Sichuan oil better this time. It's much. Mm. Now we're gonna let Phil try the thing. Oh okay. boy, I'm excited. I'm so hungry. Are you afraid? Not at all. Because it still has a foot shape. Does it? I don't know. Okay, okay. I, I won't wasn't gonna mention point that. that out, but yeah, it still has. Okay, look, the audience might not like that we point out that it still has a claw here and here. Um, oh, that's claw? Okay. Well, whatever, it's toe. I don't know what to call it. So anyway, I'm going to try it. And guys, look at like, how it falls off. Yeah, though. it's really soft. It's really, the texture is really good, okay? This is the, um, sort of like the skin. So it's got a fatty, silky, I'm struggling. I'm going to chop it. Dip it, dip it. I want to grab a little bit of it more, a couple pieces ready because I want to, be able oh. to come back again for more. I usually use the whole mouth to eat it. Like I oh, love... you put the whole thing? I'm going to yeah. do this. I'm going to grab this and dip it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So get it nice and soaked, okay? And go deep for some of the good stuff at the bottom. Are you? Oh, you're scared. It's melt in the mouth. Oh my gosh. Um, how could I say? If you are a fan of pork belly, okay, I really think you should try this. This is like, um, it's not like pork belly, flavor-wise, but it's the texture of the of the um, the meat and the collagen is really similar to, uh, uh, yo, this sauce is so good. Mm. And there's little- And all the bones, everything fall off, right? Yeah, there's little bones. So you gotta like, you can't just one, two, chew, swallow. You will swallow a bone. Don't do it. If you're not a good chewer, become a good chewer. <laughs> I, I say that because I had to. And, and you get the meat off the bone like that, little demonstration for you. And like she said, you can also just grab the whole thing. You can just grab the whole thing like this, dip the whole thing. It may fall apart, okay? If you, once it's wet with the sauce, it might not. Yeah, see, I lost a piece. A piece fell right in. I gotta go and retrieve it, do a retrieve mission. I got it, don't worry. And then I'm gonna just, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. You're gonna watch me eat the whole thing, sorry. I thought you didn't wanna eat the whole thing. Mm. I'm really hungry. Mm. Oh. So anyway, there's little things falling off and whatever, but this is really, the sauce is great. Is it you nailed it. And, and the, is and that soft? Meat. Is that this falling is, off? Yes. Teeth optional. Eating. Okay, you can gum this. No problem. And it's a soft and juicy and uh, mm. that tendon and uh, the skin, how it melts in the mouth is like yeah, so I, satisfying. It's a little bit weird. I have to. Okay. No, I have to. It's satisfying. <laughs> mouth watering. Mouth watering. Mm -hmm. And I also talked about if you like pork belly, I I should mention that this is it's the closest thing I can think of if you've never had anything like this. But it's different in that that it it has that kind of the ultra great piece of pork belly fat that you get. This is like the whole thing is that ultra great pork belly fat, melty, silky, smooth with the sauce seasoning on it, it's divine. I'm gonna eat. Oh, yeah. So you have to get over the mental block and try this. I really encourage it. Okay. More bones coming. <laughs> and if you're good at spitting tea leaf, this will be no problem. 